Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Bob Var here again, and today I wanted to talk about Q mixes. So basically, last Sunday I had a recording session with my good friend Fabio from our project, both. Um, normally, when we were recording, you know, instruments or vocals, we basically went with a just regular uh, guitar jack out of the headphone uh, outputs into a barrier. Um, little mixer which allows us to set separate volumes for our headphones but the problem we ran into was whenever when we were recording something the mix that I was hearing was basically the same one as the artist um, is hearing so to solve this problem I bought the PreSonus HP4 a separate headphone um, mixer to be able to actually give the singer or the artist an other headphone uh, mix that I'm hearing. So if the if the singer wants more drums, I can put him, give him more drums. I can you know put some reverb on his vocals without me hearing this stuff, you know. So basically, how I set this up was you know I have output one and two. Let me go to the I/O uh, setup of Studio One which I can find under, you know, if I just click on a regular input of a channel and then go to I.O. Setup. Here you will see the inputs and the outputs. In my case, is it's, is it's set to a multi-output device, just so I'm able to record this video. But basically, we'll give you the same setup here, and it will give you all the different outputs of your interface. To create a Q mix, it's very simple. So what you do is you click on add a stereo output. As you can see here, that's what I already did over here. And then you see here Q mix, you click on Q mix and this will create, you know, first you have to click on apply. Okay. Then if you click on outputs, you will see here on the right that a different output is popping up. Basically, this is the channel that will go to 3 and 4. You know, normally it will, will appear here, output 3 and 4, and it will go to your headphone mixer, in my case, a PreSonus HP4. And basically then, all your audio and all the channels will have this other Q mix section on the channel. And basically, it gives you a few options here. You can enable it or disable it. If you're enabling it, it goes through the headphone mixer, you know, goes to the artist. So basically if I can see here that it's playing here, and you can see when I disable this, that it's not playing anymore. So you can't see it anymore when I enable it. It's coming into the Cubix again. The other option that we have is this little lock that you see over here. When you click on the lock, it's, you know, it disables the same volume. So whenever parameter, if you're changing the volume here, for example, it doesn't change the volume over here. But whenever I click on this lock again, you see that it automatically automatically jumps to the same volume as here and whenever you change it it will have the same volume as here so basically whenever you have a singer and he's like okay i want to hear more of the mix but you the you know the engineer doesn't want to hear any more of the mix you just click on this lock and you change the volume and take it down a bit this will change into the headphone mix that's going through here the other thing as well you know whenever you have this lock enabled and you have your panning going on. You see also that here it goes to the left and it goes to the right. If you disable this lock, you see that it stays the same and you can set it separate over here. Also, you can do like some different effects on here and you know, it, it allows you to just make the, make the singer or the artist feel comfortable in the studio, you know? Also here with the vocals, you know, whenever you have vocals coming in, if the artist wants to hear, um, for example, let's play the vocals with the track, um, have it all enabled. This 
this is just pure raw recording, you know, I still have to do um, tuning of the vocals, effects, and all kinds of processing, but this is just to give you an idea. Whenever you're recording and you have, let's say, these two already recorded, let's put them in another color, there you go, and you're now recording on this channel. Let's create another layer just, you know, for this purpose. Whenever you have these two already, you have like, for example, you know, the main vocal, you have a low harmony, and now you want to create uh, another harmony, you know, whatever, low, high, doesn't matter. To be able to, you know, whenever you're listening back to it, you know, now the vocalist can hear him because himself because he's recording on this channel. But if the vocalist is like, hmm, okay, I want to hear the top line, which is going through here, but I don't want to hear the other harmony, but the engineer, the producer still wants to hear it, just click on this, you hit record, yes. and there you go. It's as simple as that. You don't have to do anything else, and it will go through here. If you want to take down some general volume, you can do it here of the Q-Mix, or you can also do it on the headphone mixer pre pre-sonus hp4 in my case so it's all very you know nice and simple if you have any questions please let me know if you like this video please uh, smash the thumbs up please subscribe and stay tuned for another video thank you so much take care and have an awesome day peace